the Ford Tractor 1939 to 1952 Governor Assembly. This video was brought to you by Just Ed Ends Ford Tractor Parts and Restoration Service. This video details the assembly of all the Governor variants found on 9N, 2N, and 8N tractors. There is a total of six variations, but the latest housing body can be used in all of the variants. This video can help all those restoring the governors to the factory as built configuration. We begin by identifying the governor versions as they progressed in development. The governor was first produced with the early 9N models in 1939. In this variant, the housing body is cast steel and the linkage uses three lever arms. In late 1939, Ford realized that removing an internal roll pin would be easier if the housing had a flat boss for drilling an access hole, allowing for a pin punch to remove the roll pin. Then in early 1942, Ford provided the housing body, drilled and plugged. In late 1942, Ford decided to provide the governor lubricating oil externally. The plug was replaced with an elbow for an oil line. In early 1948, the 8N's housing body was changed to cast aluminum and an external boss was added for additional lever arm shaft support. The linkage was also changed from three lever arms to two. The proof meter was incorporated in 1950 with 8N tractors and used until 1952. The governor housing body was changed to accommodate the proof meter by replacing the drive shaft bearing surface with a threaded port for attaching the proof meter cable. A fiber washer was also added behind the drive gear. Begin the assembly with the lever arms. Attach a bolt, nut, and washer to the inner lever arm and then mate with the outer lever arm. Attach the return spring connecting links with rivets to the mounting ears on each arm. Then attach the spring to the links. Install the lever shaft needle bearing followed by the dust seal. Then place the thrust washer into the recess in the housing followed by the bronze bushing. Now position the actuating fork in the housing in the orientation shown and hold in place while the lever arm assembly shaft is inserted through the housing and fork. Line up the holes in the fork and in the lever assembly shaft. Press a roll pin through the fork and shaft. Build the drive assembly next. Assemble the components on the drive shaft as shown, noting that the fiber washer is not used on all variants. On the opposite end of the shaft, assemble the remaining components as shown. Lock the assembly in place with the retaining clip. Now insert the drive gear assembly into the housing and secure with a number 832 mounting screw. Note that two screws are used on early 9N models. Place the gasket on the governor face. Install the oil elbow in the threaded port but do not over tighten. The elbow is a pipe thread and must be snug to prevent oil leakage but over tightening will crack the housing body. The governor assembly is now complete. To see more videos from Just 8 Ends, remember to like and subscribe.